Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan and today we will work on WordPress and we will create multilingual website through plugin. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now this is website in one language. So we will make multilingual website. So go to plugins and click on add new. So we will use polylang plugin. So this is plugin we are using. So click on install now. And then click on active activate. So polylang wizard is open. The wizard will help you configure your settings. So first add languages according to your requirement select. Select English and then click on add new language and another one is german so this is click on it and add new language and add another italian click on it and so we are adding three language you can add languages according to your requirement so we are working on multilingual so click on continue so i added three languages and then you see media so allow polygon to translate media so if you want you can enable or disable it depend on you so enable it and here you see when you translate a media the file is not duplicated on your disk however you will see one entry per language in the media library when you want to insert media in a post only media in the language of the current post will be displayed so i will show you this later when we are we will add image and then click on continue and content without language so choose the language to be assigned so this is our default languages there are post pages or tag without languages so for your site to work correctly you need to assign language to all your content so this is the current content so we assign all this content to english so you can add your language to default language so this is basically default languages for all our uh, uh, content on our website then click on continue and now this is home page you define this page as your static home page yes and for your site to work correctly this page must be translated in all available languages so when i click on it then they convert our home page into dutch and italian language so click on continue here you see star icon star mean default so here you see default language so english is our default languages so we are going to prepare this page in dutch and italian so click on continue and you can read document if you want and then click on return to dashboard so wizard is complete now on top you see show all languages english dutch and italian so go to pages first and here you see about us and all uh, these three flags here you see english this page are in english you see flag and you see plus icon plus icon mean pages of about us in italian and dutch are not created yet so blog and here you see plus icon it means you will create pages for this in dutch and italian also and scroll down now you uh, see we created uh, italian and dutch pages for home page now you see three uh, two pencil icon here for home page and this page belong to english language and this home dutch front page two pencil icon mean edit page is already created and this page belong to dutch and now italiano so you see flag here and then home so when you select 
English on top only English pages are shown here when you select Dutch only Dutch pages are shown here now you see we have only one Dutch page front page and when you see Italiano only Italian page are shown here and when you select show all languages then all languages pages show here now you see front page is already set for all three languages but i will show you how to set front page so go to setting and in general so in reading now you see static page home and when you click on dutch then you select home dutch for dutch language and click on save changes and now go to italiano and now you see static page select here you see home italiano so click on save changes so now front page is set now go back to pages so now we are creating pages for our dutch and italiano so here you see show all language first now about us pages are already created so now click on plus plus mean we create page for this so now you can about us dutch so about us dutch so you can add your uh, page title here now you see languages is dutch so and then add content here for your dutch so like about us so add content for dutch and click on up publish and then here you see plus icon for italiano italian so click on it and now about us italiano for italian page and now click on publish so both pages created for dutch and italian so now you see here default language for this page is italiano and another page for this is about us in english and about us in dutch so now go to all pages now you see pencil icon here it's mean pages are created about us all th in three language now you can do same for blog content and content from seven view so you can do same process and now we are going to create menu for different languages so appearance menu so now you see this is main menu and now you see main navigation for english main navigation for dutch and main navigation for italiano so this is main menu for english and now create new menu main menu for dutch and now main navigation dutch select here create menu and now here you see pages now all pages show so it's good you can select dutch here so only dutch pages are shown here so now pages and now you see two pages are shown here so like this and save menu and now go to italiano so we will create menu for italian language now create a new menu so main menu and now italiano and then select main navigation italiano here and then click on create menu so we already select italiano for home taught uh, bar and now only italiano pages show here so view all and these two pages 
so now menu is created for all three languages so now you see main main menu english dutch and italian now so all menu all three menu created for all three languages so now we are going to add here in menu of language switcher so when someone select italian or dutch then it's convert the page and go to that page so now here you see language switcher on add menu item so click on it and add to menu so we are in currently italian menu and now you see display as a drop down you want yes displays group and display languages name yes display flag okay force link to front and hide the current language yes when you are in german then they don't show dutch language or dutch flag they only show italiano or english flag so hide language with no translation if no translation then hide language okay click on save now do the same process for the remaining two menus select so languages display as drop down flag and save menu and again with english menu so drop down flag hide and this so language is done language feature is done for all three pages so select english so I am adding about page from here because I created uh, different languages pages for about. So this is about us. So here and remove this and click on save menu. So menu save and all three menu save now go to pages and here click on show all language. So all pages show here. So you see, we created about us page in Dutch and Italiano language, and also home page is created in all three language. So now open any page, home page. So you can create a blog contact page in three language also. Just click on this plus icon, and this is our website. And now here you see menu English. This is our current language, and now click on Dutch. So now move to Dutch and when you click on Italiano, so Italiano and this is about us page for Italian language and now click on Dutch. So contact for Dutch and now click on English. So in this way you can create multilingual website in WordPress. So we are in dashboard again and here you see. Here you see languages, so click on languages. So if you want to add more languages, then click on choose language and then click on add new language. So new language add here and here you see you can set de default language from here. So this is our default language English and so you can do same process with post, click on all post. And now you see plus icon, so click on it to create a Dutch in Dutch page for this hello world post and also tell you know so same process for pages and post. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.